What's up guys, Dan H, and welcome to the project. Today I think the sun is trying to come out, which is fantastic news. We got airplanes buzzing around, uh, birds chirping, dogs barking, spring is finally here. And that means we can finally start working on our Jeeps outside again. Well, not last week. Last week I got rained out on three separate days trying to pull this ZJ bumper out. And even worse, I lost some of the intro to this thing. So uh, you're gonna get the end result now and I'm gonna save some beginning footage for the end. So I'm gonna be a little Tarantino style on this thing. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the bumper pull video. All right, I'm gonna start with the grill, and I believe it's just four screws, two up top and two inside. All right, grill is off, and it's got two busted tabs here. So this will be garbage. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is look for uh, <laughs> any remaining fasteners and pop these up. Oh, that shot out. <laughs> I'm gonna check the top of the bumper and the bottom of the bumper for these guys. So this is kind of interesting. All that holds the front bumper on is a bunch of these. He just slide this into the bumper, attach to the header panel, and push that in. <laughs> and then there's your bumper. Great. Oh. <laughs> it just fell on me. <laughs> it just rolled right out. Wow, look at that. That's funny. Right, there's also three fasteners that hold on the wheel well lining to the bumper. Um, I don't think they're structural whatsoever, but these are more of like plastic rivets. I think they're one-time use. <laughs> Garbage. Okay, so here's my assessment of the damage. It sucks. <laughs> but no, it looks like it took a, a really, really hard impact. This whole corner is crimpled in and the whole bumper is kind of leaning in, you know, uh, from the middle of the header panel. You can see that this was pushed back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the header panel and the headlights. I'm going to compare this side to that side, see how much I need to pull out, and then we'll, uh, we'll get to work on it. So here's how the headlights were held in place. <laughs> Two deck screws. That's great. Oh, wow, well, that's easy. Wow. All right, let's take off this header panel. And then all you gotta do is unplug the headlights. And that's it. Okay, when replacing the ZJ header panel, it's important to save these uh, headlight adjustment devices because if you buy one online, they don't come with them. So you're gonna have to pull these out and put them in your new header panel. Just keep that in mind if you're uh, buying one online. And don't throw out your ambient air sensor either. That kind of gets overlooked. I'm just gonna take this foam out in case I wanna reuse it on the new bumper. Why not, right? I think I'm gonna take a sample of this paint. Show the body shop guy in case I repaint the bumper. I'm just gonna give this a tear here. Why don't you see if you can give that a nice tear? Nice. And this is garbage. All right, guys, so we're here. We got the... <laughs> Hello. Excuse me. <laughs> Step right here. <laughs> Are you blocking me? <laughs> All right, so since the impact looks like it was straight on, right at the bumper, I'm gonna try to hook up something to the fog light mount, and then we're gonna 
connect that to the old come along and we're gonna put it directly against this tree and pull it out hey Evie we got our helpers we got project dad H over here <laughs> hey remember uh, remember why we bought the come along to begin with do I remember yeah to pull a bumper out I think of your Mustang <laughs> Watch what good. I can do with the steering wheel cover. I can hula hoop with it. Can I try? No. Mm -hmm. So here is our bumper pulling setup. All right, we got the chain around the tree. Uh, we got the old come along. I haven't seen this baby in about 15 years. Uh, come along, we'll ratchet the cable and pull on it. And hopefully it will pull the bumper out. Now I have uh, an eye hook and I have a stack of washers threaded onto this thing because there wasn't a lot of room to get a, a big plate in there which is what I wanted so the washers will have to do and we're gonna pull this thing out you know before we get started whacking and banging on this thing I'm gonna remove the battery this way the battery won't blow up and neither will the airbags all right Now we use the battery to chalk the wheels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna heat up the areas of the worst creases with this map gas, get it nice and hot. Hopefully it'll make it more pliable and it will straighten itself out as we start ratcheting. So we're gonna heat it up and give it a go. Jeep is in park with the Eber. Oh, stop. That's it. <laughs> That's tight. It's unwrapping the eye hook. Well, the first attempt at this was a fail. The weakest point in the system was this eye bolt. It is now Captain Hook. We want the weakest point of the system to be the bent metal so it pulls everything out. Um, so we're not messing around anymore. We found some. Serious hardware. Now all I gotta do is drill a couple holes in here. I'm gonna put these nice fat washers and nice fat bolts in this bumper and we're gonna start pulling again. There. Much better. All right, cool. All right. All right, we're ready for take two. Uh, before I start torching, I'm going to uh, put some cold, wet rags on these wire harnesses. Don't want to melt any wires, so we're going to protect it with this. And uh, you know what? This wasn't cutting it. We're going to bring out the big dogs. We're going to heat it with this. Flamethrower! Space balls the flamethrower! The kids love this one. bit more water to protect the wires. All right. Roasty toast.
Yeah. Just can't wear it out. All right, here's where we're at so far. We're able to pull the bumper out of this corner. And it's starting to unfold. Not too bad. The welds kind of disconnected off the bumper and the frame, but when we straighten it out, I'll just tack it back in. Progress. That came out. Yeah, that's not too bad. I think I could uh, disconnect these melted horns now. <laughs> All right, I just gotta whack this little piece down to hopefully unbend the piece of metal that the horns are attached to. Take off the melted horns and then <laughs> maybe get a two by four and straighten the bottom piece out. Jeez. Over here, this whole piece is flat like yeah. this. It's <laughs> did, did that get crunched down? Yep, it accordioned. Everything just went. Wow. The other side is square. Yep. It's <laughs> flat and square. This side don't know what square is. Cool. There's the horn assembly. You yeah, know, you can put another clip in there. Yeah. I have a bunch of those. I think. Yeah. We got the horns out. Hey, it's not too bad. No. Well, it's Rusted from the accident, but we didn't melt it too much. <laughs> hey, we, see we if it works. Melt it too much. See if you can get. Burp, burp. I unplugged the battery. Burp, burp. All right, it's getting dark. Man, I don't know where the time goes. That always happens when I work on Jeeps. Next thing I know, day is over. So uh, not too bad for the progress on the first day. Our mission is to make the crappy side look like that. All right, guys, so check this out. This frame tube is really caved in in here. And that's not good because if I ever want to use a tow hook or a bumper, it's going to have to mount into this area and look at that inside that is smashed in pretty good let's see what it's supposed to look like so on this side everything's not smashed it's nice and right angled and there's about a one inch overlap from where the bumper is spot welded to the frame tube so what i'm going to try to do is take this cable clamp and drill two holes right in that overlap. I'm gonna try to not drill out the spot welds, but it's kinda right where this is. But I'm gonna go through the frame tube and through the bumper and try to pull them out together right in here. And while I'm heating and pulling on the come along, I'm gonna try to push this in with a pry bar. overlapping that pinch weld and it's time to pull the cable all right and once again we got our wheels chalked transmission in park and the e-brake on all right this time I'm not gonna go nuts I'm just gonna isolate the heat and this really creased area right on this frame tube so we'll get this nice and hot and we'll start to pull So here is our progress after the second round of work. Now this is almost straight and this is almost back to where it should be. So, so far it's all right. It's not gonna be perfect, 
So I'm gonna try to hook up uh, the come along and pull this out this way towards this tree. We'll give this a shot and uh, hopefully it'll work because that's it. <laughs> that's it for this. If this doesn't work, it's just gonna have to be crap. Now well, maybe it's not crap. It, it's probably good enough, but for me, good enough is never enough. All right, so I maneuvered the Jeep nice and perpendicular to this tree, and we got the come along set up right here in this bumper, and this is attached to a chain, which is attached to a grade eight bolt, which goes right through to this frame tube. Now, again, this is the most important part, I think, of straightening this bumper out, because this is where all the other accessories bolt onto, like a uh, winch mount, um, a steel bumper, or even just factory tow hooks. They all go right here into these bolt holes. So it's kind of important, and I want to give it a shot at straightening it out. All right, so there's still one more flap of mangled steel uh, above and behind the bolt where I was pulling from and I'm having a real hard time straightening this out. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off this tab, see if I could push it over from the top. Um, it's a bunch of thick steel and it's not really attached to anything because the metal's peeled back. So I'm just gonna cut this corner with the uh, angle grinder and Try to access it, push it back straight again. All right, guys. Well, I really tried my hardest to straighten out this piece right here, and unfortunately, it will never be perfect because um, this is so creased and so bent. It's like crinkling up a piece of paper. Once it's crinkled, it'll never be perfect again. So I'm gonna have to say this is good enough. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to drill out this hole much bigger so I could fit. Um, you know, whatever accessory I need to bolt into here one day. And uh, I'm gonna drill this out, elongate it, so these three will fit, and this junk up here, this crease, won't interfere too bad. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna drill that out, and then we can start piecing this back together up here, and I'm gonna tack it as I go, and then smash it straight. So, the old tack and smash will get this thing just where it needs to be. Alright, well it starts right up. So I guess that means I didn't break anything. So that's gonna do it for my ZJ damage control video. It's gonna be the first of many in this ZJ build. So as always, thank you for watching. Remember to like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next project when we weld this thing up. Okay, to get started on project ZJ, we will ceremoniously cut the ribbon, or in this case, the zip tie holding the bumper on. So, Let's hear a round of applause. Yay! <laughs> Let's begin.